Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I might have to turn this up a little bit so you can hear it. I'm just trying to drown out the air conditioner. I have the air on. It's, last weekend was nice and cool, but this week it was it was hot. It was hot by eight o'clock <laughs> and stuff. But it's okay. It's part of uh, it's part of the seasons, you know. And this is a season to receive. That's what we're going to be talking about today. This is the time to receive. And if you don't know God, you can know God at the end of this message. will give us a prayer uh, 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 that you can uh, pray and, and receive the Lord as your personal Savior today. And uh, as always, I just want to thank you and everyone for being here and being part of this. If you're watching it, you're part of it. Part of Measure Faith Worship Center here today. This is Measure Faith Worship Center USA, but we're also at uh, Measure Faith Worship Center in India. The great, the great uh, uh, country of India. We're uh, building churches over there, planting, uh, sell churches over there, and, 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 and building churches as well. We've got a building that's, that's coming up right now, Pastor Philip. It's, it, it, I can't really tell you the name because I don't. I'll probably misspell it and stuff. But it's over in India and stuff. It's uh, Pastor Babu Magapu, my great friend and, 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 and co-partner in, in, in Mega Faith with in, 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 in the kingdom work that we're doing. We're doing the kingdom work and doing it over there. And uh, he's he, uh, we create these uh, small churches to to lead reach many, not just a few, but many. If we can find that one, just like Jesus said, you know, that he, he's, we'd rather go out, lead the 99, and go find that one out of that 100. You know, and that's what we can, if we can, can and then minister to that one and, and, and mature that one into doing, finding more. And that's what, what we're about at Measure Faith Worship Center, is to help build up the body of Christ, edifying each other. I put these little messages on Facebook. I'm not scared of the internet. The internet is a great tool. We just had a great conference, a pastor's conference, just a, a, a day, two days ago and stuff, and it was great. It was, we just did a Zoom, Zoom uh, conference with about six pastors from over there, and, 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 and me and uh, Pastor uh, Mega Poo, and, and you know, the message come out of God that, that we need to take this internet and use it for God. You know, you know, it's used for all kinds of junk, but we need to use it for more for God. And if you if you have a you know a, a, a thousand followers, a hundred thousand followers, send this message to them. You know, go on to your chat, send this message, get others to come hear this message, get others to find a, 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 be a part of this this ministry as us as we're united together in Christ. That's what it's about, being united together. We're united together with Pastor Megapoo and his great family over there in, in India. Step out of camera for a minute. But this is this is Pastor Megapoo and his great family, his his daughters, his wife, his two his three kids, and then his mother and father are also great ministers of the gospel as well. They're, they all do great things. This is a great calendar he sent to me and stuff. He sends me one every year and stuff. And it, it shows the great works. And like I said, for the 20th of this month, we're going to dedicate a new church that we just started over there at Pastor Phillips Church. Like I was saying a minute ago and stuff. But, you know, be in prayer for it. You know, it's been a few a, a few months now of uh, the preparation. You know, I mean, from the ground up, this one. You know, and stuff, and you know, uh, we did you know, Pastor Megapoo's church and his father's church, and his, we're working on his brother's church. We got about five, six churches going right now, and stuff, but we want more. And this is what we talk about it in this global meeting about the, uh, uh, 
bringing the, the gospel to Asia, like Paul was talking about in, 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 in the book of Acts and stuff. And, and uh, we want to, we want to, you know, reach as far as we can because it says, "Go into all the nations and preach the gospel into all the world." Nations, world is the same. You know, this, the gospel is not just for the United States. You know, we can mess up whatever we get a hold of anyway. <laughs> but then people have a hunger and a desire for the Word of God. They're, he's associated, Pastor Megapoo's associated with hundreds of pastors. And you know, and these pastors are hungry. They, but the, it, as well as there's great persecution, and religious persecution. You know, the other religions over there that that, that, that try to uh, try to keep them from from doing that. But God it opens the door. It, 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 there, that door is open, and that's what we're going to talk a little bit more about that too in a few minutes. You know, the windows of, and, and, and doors of heaven. You, you, there's many scriptures about them opening. It's just like I told them that day that we was talking on the Zoom and stuff. You know, Jesus said I stand at the door or not. He's waiting for you to open the door. You know, the door of ministry will open. You say, well, I want a ministry. Well, open a door. You know, do something. That's what we're talking about. A church that's doing something. A people that's doing something. You know, and that's what we talk about in, in, in our little uh, Zoom meeting and stuff. And using the technology, these phones. You know, these phones are not just a Know, fill our head full of a jump, but to be able to communicate that, that kind of reminds me back in, in, the, when, in the 60s where they had, when they had, I was a little small kid, but when they first started playing the, the television shows, Star Trek with a communicator, you know, they communicated between them and the, and the, and, 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 the, and, the, um, and the, from the planet to the, to the, to the spaceship, you know, and we can do the same thing. We can communicate with uh, all the people around the nation. That's what's going to bring it to the to all four corners of the earth. Is, is, the, is the communication. You got great men of, uh, uh, that, that's, that's doing uh, that's putting up satellites. Elon Musk is a, has a, a great visionary, and he wants to put these satellites so he can reach all the the world. You know, but when he does. We need to capture that and use it for the glory of God. That's what my point here is. Using everything for the glory of God. Everything is at our disposal, our, our access to do the things and will and purpose of God today in this earth for His, 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 uh, His, His will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. His, His will and purpose and plan in heaven is to build the body of Christ. All those that are here are here in the call of God are stirred in their spirits and need God and want God and, and, and desire God and are hungry and thirsting for righteousness. They, he says they shall be filled and stuff and, and that he wishes none should perish. But we're going to get here in the word you know, that's just want to go over, go over that. You know, like I say, be in prayer for this pastor, and because and, and, always persecution comes with with, with, with great success. I, you listen to any great success story; they don't just walk off, walk into success. It's a it's a it's a journey. It's a it's a, it's a mission. It's an ambition to go in and, and, to, and to do these things, and, and, and so that's why we have to prepare ourselves and prepare ourselves and that's what you know prepare the youth of the church that's what we talk about in the Zoom meeting as well to these pastors building these pastors up to tell them to go out and build their church up build bring more youth into the church that'll bring that that'll, that'll elevate the church that's the future church that's the church that, that's gonna that's gonna be the ones that stand in the in the, in the tribulation That's the one to be able to stand, even if they if they if they fall back or if they if they, if they come backslide, they'll still have the, the 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 seed of faith in them to grow, to, to expand, to, to draw more people to God, and to do the works that God's called us to do. Because He says, "Because I've called you not to just do uh, 
uh, I've, I've done works, but I want you to do greater works. He's called us to do greater work. Paraphrase there <laughs> a little bit, you know. I'm country boy and stuff, but country pastor, you know. But, you know, that's what God is saying, and God is saying in His Spirit today to you. And, you know, this this message today I, 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 and stuff is it, 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 about getting in, get wet with the blessings of God. Get in. And get wet with the blessings of God. That's what we need to do. We need to get in. If you're not in, you need to get in. You know, if you're not wet, you need to get wet. You know, and some people are scared of that. They're scared of the things of God. They're scared of getting in that in that flow in the rain. He said they send the, the the latter rain and the former rain. We got to get in it though before it saturate us. And it says it, then. He'll fill us and that it come back out of us as living water to this dying world. Living water. People want living water and living something that can, can live and abide in them and transform them and, and change their, their, them into the, uh, something that God can be able to use to, 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 the, to the glory of the kingdom. And that's what uh, that's all, that's all, it's all about. And I just give some little, little accolades and shout outs here today. Uh, uh, thank uh, 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 Brother uh, Pastor Jack Whitman, a great man of God. You know, Fellowship of the Living of the Living Word over in, in, in Lexington, South Carolina. Great man of God. He's, he, he's been a great part of our history, my history, my, my legacy in, in, in the ministry, he gave me a leg up and a, a hands up and allowed me to be part of that great ministry. They're celebrating their 10th year this day. You know, this 10 years of that church has been established and been doing the great works of God and leading others to Christ. And that's what it's about. This man had a hunger and thirst for righteousness. I remember when he was just an evangelist, but he's, he had a hunger and thirst for righteousness and, 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 and when it become a pastor then he, 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 he said he's been a great pastor as well and, 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 and him and his wife and his family all all in the ministry as well bless him bless that church the, 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 the fellowship of the, the, of the living word and God bless them and God bless uh, 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 all the all the great ministers that I know that I could mention a lot of but I don't want to get my time too stressed out because I want to get in this word. Uh, Brother Maurice Mayo, great friend of mine, just he just texted me a minute ago and stuff and, 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 and with great wishes and, and great blessings and, and tidings from him and stuff. And you know, just like you know, Paul sent out the letters to the pastors and the teachers and the apostles and, the, and those in the different, different ch uh, churches that he started. They started all over Asia and that's what we're doing now. We're starting, we're trying to keep that Keep those, keep it going, you know. And it's such a stagnant in the earth, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in this nation, for the far as the, the worst that the church is doing. You know, we build bigger churches, but just fill up with bigger, bigger problems and bigger needs. You know, but we want to be able to start these churches over there because these people are, they walk for miles to go to church. You know, you could get someone here in, in the United States to walk down the block to the to the, to the nearest church. You know, and there's good people out there that probably will. I'm not saying it's not none, but those are the ones we're looking for. Those are the ones we want to fill. Those are the ones we want to teach. Those are the ones we want to disciple and raise up. And that's what this is. That's what I'm kind of directing this point to and stuff. And, and, and you might be that one that can be that that light to that one around you. And you might know others. And that's what it's about. We all one body. You know, many, many members with one body, one head. And that's Jesus Christ, the head of the church. And that's what we're going to go here today. We're going to start, uh, and like I said, these other ministers, there's many of them. You know, Brother John, uh, John Richburg in, the, in Pleasant Pine ba uh, Independent Baptist Church in, in here in Gasling. Another great man of God. I can go on and on about that and stuff, but, you know, it's about doing the Word of God and the will of God today. You know, we do the Word because we're doing the Word when we go out and, and minister. And that's what it's about, creating ministries and creating ministers. And that's what it's about. 
in the body of Christ today. To, to so, because he's coming soon, you know. And all the things of this world, you know, I'm not going to go off into the things of this world about the price of gas and the, and the price of a loaf of bread, because you know it says those things will increase. You know, you know, as long as there's politics, that that will always increase. But we, we want to go walk in the blessings of God today, and that's what we're going to be talking about. And like I said, you know, this is about getting in. Getting wet with the blessings of God, and we're gonna go by going over to the to the New Testament, the Old Testament, right after Daniel and and, and, and Hosea. Then you have then you have Joel, the book of Joel, and we're gonna go over to the book of Joel, and we're gonna go to the second chapter of Joel, and we're gonna start it. Uh, just read uh, some scriptures here, and verse 21 of chapter 2 of, of the book of Joel says, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the fields, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the trees bear her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield her their strength, showing you there's an increase and an abundance that's coming. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And what I would say, that that's, here we are with a double portion of rain, of blessings, is coming. A double portion of rain. A blessing is coming. So we have to get in, get wet with the blessings of God. Get in and get wet with the blessings of God. You know, when you was a little kid, a lot of people would tell just, I was just thrown into a lake and learn how to swim that way. But, you know, but before that, I would just ease into the water. You know, sometimes, it just depends on the season, you would even try to touch the water to see if it was too cold or if it was too warm. And then, but you, but then finally you would get up to your knees, and then for the summer you get up to your chest, and then you just dunk under real quick. And then some people, it don't matter, it can be zero. You see these here, uh, they call them polar bears up there in the Antarctic and stuff, uh, cut a hole in a, in, in, and just jump in the ice <laughs> and stuff. But I'm not going to do that, and I'm not encouraging you to do that. It's a, it's a, it, it's, it's faith, though. They know that they 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 built that by their body up to receive and to, to do these things. And so that's what we're saying here today: get in, get wet with the blessings of God. A double portion of rain of blessings is coming. And uh, verse twenty-three says, "Be glad, then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for He has given you the former rain of mightily, and will cause you to come down." For you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month, and the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. There's the blessings. That was a blessing to these people, that oil and wine and, and, and provision, because that's what they look to God as the one that provides. He is our Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Tishkanu. He is our provider. He is our, our, our banner. He is our, there's many names for, for God, but Jehovah Jireh was, was the Lord, our provider. And that's what they called him, Jehovah Jireh. And uh, verse 25 says, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts haven't eaten. There's the devil. There's the world that took from you. You know, you, you, you thought you was getting somewhere, and now all of a sudden, boom, the your whole world come down. You know, that's the devil. That's the, that's the, uh, the, 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 the spirit, the evil spirits that try to, and principalities that try to control this world. But God, the Lord said he come to destroy those works. And that's what we are here to, to help to just, you to build you up in your, your face so you can overcome and, just help, and, and, and allow him to destroy those works as well. It says, the, uh, the locusts haven't eaten, and the canker worm 
and the a caterpillar and the pommel worm. These are all little uh, things that, that eat up the, the harvest. And that's what it was about. Was the whole thing was about harvesting. Because the harvest had to feed the congregation. It wasn't as many people as it is now. But the but the harvest was a was a was a, was a main deal in that time in that era. You know, the, 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 and everything was to protect the harvest, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to build up the harvest, but as well as as to teach them for protection to, to trust God, and that's what it's about. It says, "My great army, which I sent among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied." There's blessing again and the double portion blessing be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that have a dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed and, it's, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh is the spirit of blessing and the Holy Spirit filling them up here and as well as we're going to read some more about that in a, in a few minutes and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions fill these churches with the young go out and bring your children you know those people in, in Uvada they Texas, I, I, they wish they, would, they could probably do more for their children. Do for your children. You know, keep your children in church. Keep your children close to God. You know, keep your children close to God. Keep your children not just close to your heart, but close to God. They are a blessing from God. We have to get in. We have to get wet with the blessings of God. And verse 29 says, and, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaidens in those days will I pour out my spirit. He's wanting to pour it out on you. He's wanting to pour his spirit in you so it can pour out of you. And that's what we're about here at the Measure Faith Worship Center. It's about getting that, getting getting wet, getting in the, in the flow of the blessings, getting in the flow of, of, of doing the thing. And it's all to, so that we can do more for the kingdom of God. It's not just so we can build each other up. A big giant church. I'm not trying to big, do a big giant church. This is the church right here. This temple. We are the temple of the, of the, of the Holy Spirit. And, and, he, and he fills us to, so that we can teach others. And, 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 and to, to, so they can open up as well to receive. And that's about it, what it's about. Teaching the young ones to, to receive. You know, I, 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 I have some, some different neighbors that surround with kids, and there's, 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 there's no respect. It's disrespect, lack of morals, you know, and stuff in these children nowadays, you know. And because of the things that we're, we're, we're allowing to, last week we, we talked about who and what is stirring your faith, you know, who and what, you know. Some people, they're the only stirring that they hear in it. In, in circular music, or they're hearing this children raising up, you know, sitting up on the grown-ups and learning learning bad habits. You know, what are you teaching your children? Where where's your where's the learning that is, that's coming from to your children? You know, what kind of learning? You know, you know, they're, they're, they're such a fuss now about the curriculums in, in school and, and how they're influencing. You know, witchcraft. They read, they read uh, this Harry Potter and this other junk in churches, and in, in, in Sunday schools and, and, and regular and secular schools, as well as they're teaching them. They're trying to change the books of history. You know, they want to rewrite history. You know, they rewrite. They want. They want the children to to to, to believe that that more immoral issues are okay. And then they wonder when things start happening in, 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 in society, and things start changing the way they have. And you know, young young people are, are not being blessed, but they're doing bad things, and they're leaving, learning, falling into bad lifestyles, and, and, and drugs, and, and, and um, 
alcohol or pornography and these the different things. But when we raise them up to, to receive the blessing, teach them how to walk in the blessing, get them wet, get them in and get them wet. Get them in and get them wet. That's what it's about. And that's what, if you're here today, I want you to hear this. And get this deep in your spirit and stuff. And, and then we're going uh, right here on verse 30. says, And I will show you wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and, the, and pillows of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord comes. In verse 32 it says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered. That's included everyone. When Jesus splits that eastern sky and call the trumpet sounds, you know, are you going to hear that hear that call? Or are you going to be left to go through a, a, a time of tribulation? When all is gone, I've just seen a documentary where some man is saying he's, he's a, a, a time traveler and he's seen in the world where there's nothing, no one around, no one left. Do you want to be in that number, be the one that's left, or no one, be in a world where no one's left, or be in a, 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 a devil's hell with sinners where there's going to be a, a burning and a gnashing of teeth. It says that you can find it in, 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 other, in the scriptures in Revelation. It tells, Jesus explains that he's, there's nothing that's not open about this Bible. Every question, every question has an answer. The people say, that's too confusing. It's too contradictive. Open up with your spirit today and God will open these things up to you so that you can receive. He said right here, he will open up to them. Pour, pour the former rain and the latter rain in you. So get in and get wet with the blessings of God. Get in and get wet with the blessings of God. And now we're going to turn over here to, book, to the uh, book of John. And it's just a couple more scriptures because I want to end this so I'll be able to get it on Facebook. I put it on Facebook News Feed and, and, and I put it also in, in YouTube. On YouTube in the, in the, in, and I put it in the description. I give a a, a, a a sinner's prayer where you can say the sinner's prayer as well. If you don't can't say it today with us, you can say it in the in your home. God is there. When you open your eyes and heart and mind and spirit to God, God will be there. He will never leave you nor forsake you when He does. And we're gonna go over to Joel, the uh, John, the Book of John, out of the four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the New Testament. And then when you go over to the book of John, and, and John, the, the fifth chapter, and we're going to start with verse 1. And it says, After there, this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In this this lay a great multitude of, of, of impotent folk, of blind, hearted, wildered, waiting for mo the moving of the word, the water. That's what I was saying. Get in, get wet, while the water is moving and with the blessings of God. God wants you in the water. You know, you, you know that pool is no good to you, not unless you get in it. If you can't nothing but get your toe in it, get blessed, get your finger in it, get a hand in it, get in it, get submerged, get in, engulfed, get 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 that rain on you, get out in the rain. I used to like running out, it was, especially as a kid, run out in the rain, get in a mud hole, get in, get in a mud puddle, in a rain puddle, you know, and we have to be, get that kid like eagerness to, to, to get wet in, in the things of God. And, and open up and stuff. And then we're going to go here to, like I said, uh, verse says up uh, and and for an angel on verse 4 says, for an angel went down at a certain season in, into the pool. 
because there's a blessing in the pool. That angel was that blessing that was in the pool. He, he held all the spiritual blessings. It says, he, we, we wish all the spiritual blessings upon you. Want all the spirit. We want all the, the, the spiritual blessings that God can give us. And, and it says, Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. He lived a lifetime with, in, in his infirmities. You might have an infirmity in your body today. God will heal that and cleanse you of that infirmity. You have to, when you receive this prayer, receive healing as well. You know, and God wants you to just, just earnestly and humbly receive it to now, today and now. It's about the now. Get in, get wet with the blessings of God. And when Jesus saw him lie and or was there and knew that he had been now a long time in that in, in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? He questioned him. And the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step down before me. You know, that sometimes it seems like you stand right at the brink of a blessing. Excuse me, as I render myself here. From the heat and stuff. But as, you know, you stand right at the edge of that blessing. And you know, you're reaching out for it, just like that, the people in the world says the brass ring. Well, that brass ring, we want to just get in, get wet with the blessings of God. And God says, seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And then all those other things will be added unto you. And that's what it's about. We'll get those other things. We'll have those things God wants us to have. We want all that God go for the gusto. That's what the pure people used to say, go for the gusto. And we had to go for that gusto. And stuff, you know. And verse 10 says, Well, that's where we want to, right there, we're going to stop here on end 9. And it says, Immediately the man was made whole. See, he, he received his blessings. And he took up his bed and he walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. And it goes back on through that to tell how the church didn't even like it. That the man, the, 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 the Christian people, the, the scribes, the Pharisees and all that, they seen it. They, 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 they thought it was blasphemy for him to be healed. <laughs> You know, they, they were against his blessings. And a lot of people can't, can't stand that you would be blessed. They don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to walk in the blessings. They don't sure want you to do the, the works of God. There'll be many that don't want you to do the things of God. They'll, they'll think you, they'll, they'll call you a fake. They'll call you a, a hypocrite. They'll call you doing all kinds of things. But blessed are those that persecute you in the name of the Lord. You know, so we got to just know and walk in the things of God. And that's why I said here with this little message, I'm trying to close this out. We got to get in, get wet with the blessings of God so we can help these ministers like this here. If you know someone in another nation that you want, you can reach out. And, and, and it don't cost but a few dollars, a, a little bit of time, a little bit of energy. You, he might, you might could find someone that has the resources to start a church, you know. And, 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 you know, uh, you can email me if you, you do and you want to uh, 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 use our title. This is not mine. It's God give me this. So you can, you can use this. You can use Major Faith Worship Center just like he uses Major Faith Worship Center Churches of India. You can use the same thing. He's registered with the, with the, with the, with the government of India. He is, he, he's, he's bonded and, and coveted over there. That's how they do over there. The, the church has to be part of the government. You know, he's bonded in, in, in there, and you know, and, and, and but the, they also have, have have given him grants to to help him build his church. Because even there's Christian people in the government over there, and God can reach those people's hearts and change those hearts as well as He can change your heart today. And this is what we're going to go right now to this prayer, is so that you can receive. It's about you receiving today and right now.
just like I said, I put this in the description page of YouTube. Uh, when I put it on YouTube, I try to put it today and stuff. And like I said, bless these ministers that I mentioned earlier. And bless them and their family and the things that they do and the, and the, and the witness they are before this world. It's because we are about being a light unto all nations. If we could just, you know, get in, get wet, and share the blessings as well as, as, as uh, finding the blessings. The blessings are already there. God already had the former. They had walked in so, a certain amount of blessings, but now God wanted to pour out a double portion. And God wants to give you that double portion as well. It's about uh, releasing your faith. Humbling ourselves before Him and releasing our faith to receive. And this is what we want you to do right now. I want to lead you in this prayer and I want you to just, right where you are, you don't have to close your eyes. It's not a God, a God sees your heart and He sees the, 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 the earnest and humbleness of your heart. And He wants you to open your heart today. And we have to, first we have to admit that we're sinners and that only the Lord Jesus can, can save us. Romans 3 and 23. Repent and be willing to turn away from our sins and submit to God. Luke 13 and 5. Believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and shed his blood for you and paid the price for you and then he rose again on the third day. Romans 10 and 9. And then we have to ask Jesus to save us and allow him to be our Lord. We're going to pray right now. Lord, Heavenly Father, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've sinned and come short of your glory because the Bible says so. And the Bible is all true. And, and, the, and we believe the whole Bible. And we want, we want to, uh, you to receive your spirit right now into our hearts, our mind, our body, Lord. And cleanse us of all infirmities as well, Lord God. Allow us to be, get in and get wet with your word today. And get in and get wet with your spirit. Allow your spirit to fill us. Cleanse us. Make us white as snow. As we give you all glory and honor and praise, we ask these things, hope humbly with our heart, our soul, our spirit, and our mind today, as we receive in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen, amen. And you pray that prayer, and, and, and earnestly, God will fill you today. He says he is, he is no respected person. He's called, he, he's, he called us from the foundation of the world. He's trying to gather his church together, get us aware. He makes these things available. The internet wouldn't be available if God didn't want it to be. You know, the, the things that, the, the, you know, that we have, the, the, the opportunities that, that they go lack, lacking is because of us. Because of the, the no doing, we got to be the doers. Believers not only, but doing also. You know, we can't walk in, the, walk in these great works or greater works. Now unless we start doing, and so be a doer today, and that's what it's about. I'm right here, just finalizing with this point here. Just be a doer, be a doer. Get in, get wet with the blessings of God, you know, and share. It's about sharing, sharing love, sharing uh, charity, sharing with like this ministry. You, you know, open up yourself and, and to, to the to the. There's people out there in this world that are dying. Not just we pray. It said, we pray for this land, God will, God will, will cleanse us and, and, and bless us, you know. So pray for these other nations. If you know someone in China, you know someone in Australia, you know someone in the furthest parts of the world, touch, reach out to that some, the someone. Use this internet to touch them and reach them and, 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 allow, and, and get them to go out and, and, and continue to, to work so of the Lord. And that's what it's about here at Magic Faith, and that's what we're about, and what we're, what we're uh, trying to promote here through the through the gospel is to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. March 16, 15. That's what it's about, and that's what we. Uh, you know, I give these little pins out as well. If you want a pen, you, you send me a, uh, an address or, or or an email, and I can I can get you a, a beautiful pen as well and stuff. And it's about giving, you know. Give today. Give God your whole heart today. And if you said that prayer, God, God wants you also to get in a nice church somewhere, or get on a get on a Zoom with someone and and, 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 and share the gospel. You know, and, and get you get baptized when you get the opportunity. Get somewhere where you can be baptized in water. 
Jesus Father, very important to be baptized in water. He was baptized. Now, you want to be Christ-like? Get baptized. Get filled with His Spirit. And, and, and do the works. And that's what we're about. And we praise praise Him today. Give Him all the glory for all that's done and all that's said. And, 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 and hope that you have a blessed and wonderful new week. Make this the best week that you ever had by getting in, getting wet with the blessings of God. Getting in and getting wet with the blessings of God. God bless you.